what is up you guys back at y'all with another video and this one's a very interesting one we're going to be discussing Miami Hurricanes versus the Florida Gators matchup and evaluating them position by position now this idea was not mine not original so I'm going to give credit to Mikolas thank you man I appreciate it. it's a great idea and we're going to discuss it now in the running backs position so the first guys that you want to talk about from the Florida Gator side is Jordan Scarlett he was their main rusher he ran for 131 attempts 776 yards and then their second guy is 134 attempts with Michael Perrine these guys are just about I mean split reps I mean the difference of attempts is three they're right there at it 826 yards for one 776 for the other about six yards average per every single attempt so pretty solid work from both these guys but Jordan Scarlett has left for the NFL draft. Now, you say, all right, those are the stats for the Gators. What about the Ute? Does the Ute have an amazing stellar running back? They have good ones, but I can't say that they were much bigger than these ones. Travis Homer was a little bit more of a workload horse. It wasn't as split with him as it was with the Gators. He had 164 attempts that were almost good for 1,000 yards, just shy of it four touchdowns, and also ran for about six yards per average. The second guy, next man up, was DJ Dallas. Now, DJ Dallas had also 600 yards, six touchdowns, almost ran for an average of six yards out of 109 attempts. Very, very, very close and very even. However, Homer did also declare for the NFL draft. I mean, this competition is in deadlock now stick around for the video because we're going to discuss some very interesting stats that could affect the outcome of the running game later on in the video but if you look at this it is just dead on now the next guy is the future of each program because hey if the guy that was starting for the main role mostly is going to the nfl someone else has got to fill in the shoes you go look at the next man up at cameron davis he had 28 attempts for 166 yards and six yards average now it, it, it was but um homer kind of had a bit more reps than any other running back whereas these guys at the gators kind of split it all so it's dead even really really tight now kings fans keep your eyes up keep your ears open lorenzo lingard is a guy that we wish we saw a lot more of 17 cents for 136 yards two touchdowns average eight yards per carry However, he got injured, all right? So we all remember this. He sustained a season-ending injury to his knee about to the earlier part of the season, and it was a tough loss. It was an unfortunate one. It was about midway through with FIU, and it's just it's, it's a tough one to see go down. And a guy that was such a stellar recruit and an amazing five-star running back that we were just excited to see and how that went. But... He got injured, so we'll see. We'll see how he recuperates. So then you sit around and you say, all right, Anton, you can't tell me that the Gators are going to beat us in rushing. You won't even say the Canes will, and you're a Canes fan. What other stats are there to look at? Well, you look at and the productivity. Which of these teams possesses the ability to run the ball better? Facts that come into that is the matchup. Who is the front line that you're facing against? The defensive line is a big indicator of if you'll have a successful rushing day or not. It could be Danny Enos' offensive system won't care to rush against the Gators because they have a pretty stellar defense. Same deal goes for Dan Mullen and his staff over there at the Gators. They may sit around and say, you know what? What's the point of trying to run all the time, dang time? They got a stellar defense. So let's compare the defensive line stats from last year. The defensive staffs from last year for Miami as a rushing team, they were at 42nd in the nation. Now, not the highest because they were first in the nation for quite a, some number of things. I mean, they were top five defense easy. They had the best tackles for loss, an amazing third down percentage def defense. Just passing is really difficult against this team, number one in the nation. But rushing were 42. And opponents averaged about 143 yards per game. And so you see there were pretty dead, even close tied with um, up to the top 40 teams. Now for the Florida Gators, what's their stats there? They were a pretty stellar defense. Um, however, when it comes to their rushing stats, they weren't as big of a splash as Miami. They are actually coming in at 65th place. And the average, their opponents allowed 162 yards per game. So when you compare those, it's about a difference of 20-ish yards. Now, the other interesting stat is if you take the top two guys for running backs for both programs, 
you get the exact same number in rushing yards at 1,602 yards both accounted for together when you take the top two running backs for the Gators and top two running backs for the Canes in 2018. This could not be more dead even. This could not be any closer. And so for me to sit around and do this breakdown and say, you know what? I'm saying it right now. I'm calling it. This team is going to have a better day rushing. I can't do that. I can't do that. And that. I can't be partial to the U. And I'll never be partial to the Gators. Sorry, Gator fans. I'm the Hurricane fan. But it it's dead even. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below. Who do you think is going to have a better day rushing come week zero in our matchup? And who's the running back to watch out for each team? Maybe it won't be the top guys that were. Maybe it won't be DJ Dallas for the Canes that we remembered and loved. Maybe it'll be a Cameron Davis or a Lorenzo Lingard. Maybe for the Gators, it will not be their regular workhorse of the year, the guy with the most yards. Maybe it'll be the next man up. Who knows? I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. If you could please do me a favor, smash that like button down below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button. College football community with Canes in focus. Guys, College football is fun and crazy world, and stats are very interesting and tough to tell when they're so close at who wins. But it does not matter because at the end of the day, it's always all about the you.